Hello, Stony fam, and welcome back to Toe Talks with Tia. So now this is episode number 13. So yeah, I'm kind of a little all over the place this week. I feel like posting another one today. I know I already posted two earlier, but fuck it. I feel like talking some more, So, and I feel like also getting high, which is not a rare occurrence here. But for this episode, I'm kind of just going to be all over the place. I'm going to be upfront and honest with you guys. Disclaimer, I'm definitely just going to be talking about random things that come to my mind because fuck it. I'm not really trying to all the time just be talking about a specific one topic. I kind of want to just talk about whatever comes to my mind and whatever the cannabis decides to come bring to my mind as well. So I want to talk about my post that I made last, I think last night or earlier today, whenever I made that, um, about the post that I had made saying that I, I'm not going to take shit from somebody who can't even clear a bong. And I've gotten like a few comments saying that, um, coming at me saying that I'm trying to come at people who can't clear a bong. No, that's not why I posted that. Whoever, um, if, if you're listening, who if that was written uh, written about, that was written about a specific person who has the audacity to continuously try to talk shit about me and just cause problems in my life. So I was venting, but also making a point because she couldn't clear a bong, and it was, it was ridiculous. So that's why that was posted. So please don't come at me anymore. I'm not coming at people for not being able to clear a bong. Um, but I will say... Um, If you're going to hand me a bong that still has stale smoke in it, I'm going to have an issue with it. So, and I've also been, like, refraining from going out in public near where I live because a couple weeks ago, I had taken Max for a walk, and we were over near the beach, kind of near my house. My boyfriend was fixing his car, so we were all together, but not at the moment. I walked over and sat at a bench with him because it was getting really, really hot out, and I was trying to be in the shade. Anyway, me and my dog were sitting on the bench, and this couple walks over from across the street, and they have a little kid. She's like seven or seven or so, I want to say. Like, wasn't a tri- like a baby, but it was a child. And the kid's like, "Oh, puppy!" And I expected, like, if the kid was gonna come over, that the parents would, of course, make sure that's okay with me first, or you know, respect my personal boundaries, especially during a pandemic. People. Like, COVID, I don't know who the fuck you are, you or your twerp little kid. I mean, I love kids. Don't get me wrong, but don't come near my fucking, me or my child, my, (laughs) I almost just said my child, but I mean, my dog basically is my child. So, yeah, that was kind of, really took me by surprise because the kid's just one second like, hey, cute puppy, and then five seconds later is running at me, is all over my dog and me, was climbing on top of me, pulling at my dog, actually pulled my dog's tail. Meanwhile, the parents were just across the street doing nothing um they didn't speak up at all until the kid pulled my dog's tail and then said hey stop that and that was literally the only thing that they said they thought it was funny and laughed the whole time they thought it was cute i on my face you could tell i was not happy with the situation i remained calm i didn't blow up like i wanted to and maybe honestly should have but i i just didn't want the child to see you know, feel blamed for something that isn't a hundred percent the kid's fault. It's the parents' fault. They should have told the kid, "Hey, don't do that." Thank God, my dog is super, super sweet and is an angel because he didn't respond negatively at all. He could have gotten, he could have turned aggressive and got, and that could have gotten really, really bad really quickly. So, keep your fucking kids away from strange animals and strange people. Like that's just rule number one. What if I was just some creepo, too? Like, I could have just abducted your kid. I mean, in this situation, not really, because they were actually there. So it wasn't like they just let their kid run over. But they did let the kid run over in front of them and watch as their kid was just all over me and my dog. And they didn't come over near me once. It's like, you, as adults, know that there's COVID. You won't come near me for that reason or whatever other reason there is, if there is another one on top of that one or whatever reason. I don't fucking know there. (laughs) <laughs> the thought process at the time but they clearly weren't thinking they were dressed up and ready to go to the beach and they just walked towards the beach right after they didn't give a fuck less about what they had just done and honestly i'm so thankful that these people are tourists and i never have to see them again because if i do i'm going to lose my shit so um yeah if you ever see me in public with my dog don't ever try to come touch my dog like without my permission first at all i don't care who you are do not touch my dog I am, I have a huge, huge problem with that, and I think a lot of people will agree with me, because it's just, it's unnecessary, it's not, it's not, it's not okay. There's no reason for it. Don't touch my dog. And don't touch me either. Like, this kid was all over me. I don't know where the fuck you've been. Like, do not touch me. Even if COVID wasn't a thing. Personal boundaries. 
as a kid, my parents didn't teach me much, but I was taught that at least, to stay the fuck away from strangers and not touch other people or their belongings or their animals. Um, as cute and cuddly dogs can be, even as small as my dog is, they can be aggressive. Any animal can be aggressive. It is not smart to let a child become go that close with their... I mean, her face was in my dog's face. She was manhandling the fuck out of my dog. It wasn't like a playful interaction at all. And I don't know this kid. I, I honestly really wish that I had spoken up louder about it because all I really did was kept pulling myself physically away and my dog and kept saying, please don't touch me or my dog. But that wasn't enough. You know, I had asked multiple times, get off of me, don't touch me, don't touch my dog. After she had pulled the tail, that's when I started to really, my face was very angry. And if they had not left at that moment, I would have probably gotten angrier. And I can't promise that I would have kept my composure because a lot of other people I know I've talked about this with wouldn't. And I have talked about this in my tic- on my TikTok, so I just it's it's kind of rebrought into my mind because I was walking with my dog recently, a few days ago. I know I told you guys how his legs fucked up. Well, now I'm starting to think that this might have a reason to do with it too. Um, I need one of my not my neighbors, but they're like a couple blocks away. They're really friendly. Like I don't hate them. I don't have an issue with them, but. Um, his wife just picked up my dog by the front of its legs, which now I'm starting to think that that's why his legs are bothering him, or his front one anyway. And he did not, it was not, you do not pick up a dog like that. And he yelped. And I was like, yeah, please don't pick him up like that. His legs been bothering him as it is. And he already has had issues with his leg, like I said. So I'm just, it's kind of rebrought in my mind because I'm just, I'm getting really fucking sick of people touching my dog or touching, like, me, like, in this situation, it wasn't me. It was my dog. But just don't touch my fucking dog. Like, And he was... My dog was... He was a rescue. He was in an abusive household previously. Not the one that I had, res- had gotten him from, but... The one she had gotten him from, he was very, very abused. His brother actually had noticeable recovering broken ribs. So it kind of just... It really triggers something in me when I... When somebody goes out of their way and does something like that because he can't protect himself in a way that we can animals can't protect themselves the way that we can and that's why i get so fucking angry when i read posts about it or i see stuff about people being abusive to animals it just disgusts me and i've witnessed it myself i I just i can't i would never there's no thought in my mind that i would ever want to cause physical harm to my dog he's driving me nuts i mean i'm telling you he, he pisses me off sometimes it's normal when you're, you know, you're taking a dog for a walk and he's dragging your ass and you're just trying to have a normal, decent walk, it can be frustrating. But don't ever fucking, you know, sit and scream at your dog or kick your dog ever. There's no reason for it. I don't fucking care. Unless you're being attacked and mauled or something, defend yourself. But in that case, that's different. I don't think you should ever put your hands on an animal. Ever. I think that's just unspoken. Like, I feel like everyone should just know that. But I, apparently the world doesn't. Same with kids, but that's another thing. Right now I want to talk about the furry animals because the furry friends deserve to have um, a voice. which They only can bark and, you know, moo and whatever voices they can make, but they can't talk English. They can't speak English and they don't have a human voice, so um, I'm advocating for the animals at the moment. Also, I'm going to toke on this little bong right here in front of me. I haven't smoked in a couple hours and I'd like to get a little baked, so I'm going to smoke with you guys. totally irrelevant but I want to say guys I'm fucking so proud of myself that I don't smoke cigarettes anymore because that was something I really that was a huge disgusting habit that I just I had had for years I mean almost 10 years I was smoking almost two packs a day and now over a year now I have not bought a pack of cigarettes at all and I don't smoke them I did cave a few days ago I'm not gonna lie and I did toke a little bit on one I had literally two puffs and I almost puked and threw it away and that was because my vapes were completely empty, and that has not happened in a very long time. I've never been without nicotine. That I cannot do yet. I can quit cigarettes, but when it comes to having zero nicotine, I will... I'll kind of settle, and I'll try to smoke a cigarette, but it'll always... Literally every time I've tried to since, it makes me sick. So, just the taste of cigarettes alone, they make me gag now. I can't do it. However, though... I still like the smell of them, like being around someone smoking them. I enjoy, but I fucking can't stand the taste of it anymore, and it's weird. Even the smell is gross, so I don't know why I enjoy it. I think it might be just like a memory or 
like my ex that had passed, he smoked a lot of cigarettes, so it reminds me of him. My grandmother smoked. Um, whenever I go to her house, it was just, you know, her. You know, I feel like a lot of older people smoked back in the day, and even now still. Like, they smoke. And my grandmother's house smoked, like, mothballs and cigarettes. <laughs> but um, my favorite type of smell, it's my favorite smell. It's weird. I'm weird. But, I mean, we all got our favorite smells, like, weird smells anyway. Um, like, I also love the smell of gasoline. Really love that. I also like... Like, the type of gas that they use, um, I don't know if it's exactly the same gas. I'm fucking dumb, guys. I don't know. And I'm high. But whatever they use for trains, I love that smell. Like, in North Station, I just love the smell of it. And I'm talking about, like, the outside part. I'm not talking about, like, inside North Station in Boston. I'm not talking about that. That's gross. It's used, It's not as bad as it used to be, but there used to be fucking pigeons just running around everywhere. And just, it's gross. And the bathrooms were just, they're still pretty gross. So, no. Ew. But I must say, they've done a lot of work on North Station. It looks really cool. Um, my, It was really, really cool, too, going to my first Celtics game. I think it was last year. Yeah, last year I went to my first Celtics game. And I'd never been, I've never been to any type of sports game before. But it was really, really fun. And seeing North Station in that tip, different type of side, like, I'd never gone up those elevator stairs. I'd never gone to that part of the garden before. So it was really, really cool to see what that was like. Also, guys, I want to let you guys know that the program that I've been using to upload my podcasts, I have paid a little extra, so now I can upload more, uh, not more, I guess more, but longer podcasts at a time, so it doesn't have to always be just 15 minutes episodes here, you know, there and here and there. I can expand a little longer if I want to, although I'm probably not going to make each podcast that long, just because... I don't know. We'll see. But it's cool to have extra time. So just so you guys know, that's a new thing that we're going to have going on. Also, I got the gorillas in the background, the gorillas mix going on, and I, I just love it. I like, I just love sitting here listening to music and talking to you guys. I know that nobody can talk back to me, but it's cool. I like it. I also want to like, <laughs> I was really high and I thought about this late, earlier. I was like, what if I just crop, like video edited every single podcast that I do with you guys and just crop out how many times I say that's cool or great or however many times I say the same fucking thing over and over again. I don't really know. I'm just, when I get really baked sometimes, I just, I zone out for a split second and my trains of thoughts just can't stay on the same track. You know what I mean? But yeah, going back to what I was talking about for with Max, my dog, now honestly... I, if I see another person on the same side of the street as me, I'm walking on the other side. I'm not bringing my dog anywhere near strangers that are going to try to put my dog in harm's way. Or especially if I see them walking with another dog, I literally, I gauge the weight and the size and everything because I do not want my dog to get mauled by some other person's dog because they're irresponsible. Because that could also happen. I also recommend if you're looking into being, you know, you're a new dog owner or you're looking into being a dog owner, definitely research beforehand what type of breed you're going to be getting because they're all different and they require a lot of different needs. And what I, what I mean by that is not just like their diets or exercise, not just exercise or diets, like their living, you know, living life too, home life with you. If you want to have a really good relationship and you want it to work for the both of you, you need to make sure that you're taking care of them in the right way and looking up exactly the right things to do for them. That's what I recommend. I mean, I don't think everybody does that, unfortunately. But when I got Max, right before I even got him, for the first two weeks before I got him, I was going nuts just looking up research about his breed specifically, which is a mini pincher, miniature pincher. Looking up stuff about him and also just new dogs in general he's an older dog so it's a little bit it was a little bit easier in some ways for me but also a little bit harder like there's things that he does that are instilled that I can't really I've been working with and it's really hard to break that out of his mindset so it but at the same time a puppy is a lot more work they're you know they're easier to train they're quick you know they're quicker to retain and learn things but at the same time it's detrimental if you are if you have a puppy and you're teaching them the wrong way, in the wrong ways, like being aggressive, you have to be assertive, not aggressive. 